I just want you to know, I don't like you. I don't like people like you. You come in here pretending to be this nice guy, but I know what you really are deep inside. A criminal. What up, white boy? I better not catch you walking through my neighborhood again, or I'm gonna put a whooping on you. What did I do? You hear what I said? Better get off this block before I throw this rock at your head instead of an empty soda can. Hey, honey. Did you have a good day at school? No, I hate it here. What you mean? We just got here. Maybe you just give it some time to get used to things. Did you make any new friends at school today? No. Why can't we just go back to Oregon? Josh, you know we can't go back. Besides, it's nice here. It's LA weather. And we don't need to be in the snow right now. What's there not to like? I just hate it here, okay? And I want to go home. Well, this is our home now. So get used to it. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Look, man, I'm just trying to get home. I don't, want, I don't want any problems. Thought I told you not to walk on my street, white boy. But, but, I, but I live here. This, this is how I get home every single day. Not anymore. From now on, you have to walk the long way to get home. What do you mean? I mean, you're gonna have to walk around and take the main street. Are you kidding me? That, that, that's over a mile to walk all the way around. Not my problem. But, um, what, what, what if I don't? Whoa! What, what, who the hell are you? Oh, hey. How's it going, little man? What, what are you doing in my house? Sorry, sweetie. I was in the restroom. Uh, honey, this is Daryl. Mom's new boyfriend. You're, you're what? Well, mom has to start dating again. Can't just be all alone after dad's gone. Nice meeting you, young man. Daryl Parker. I can't believe this is what you bring home. Some criminal. Excuse me? You heard me. They're all drug dealers and thugs. Hey, you come back off here right now. It's okay, it's okay. He probably just misses his real dad. It's all right. Well, well, well. I better not catch you walking through my neighborhood again. I'm gonna put a whooping on Thought you. Thought I told you not to walk on my street, white boy, white boy, white boy, white boy. <laughs> Good morning, Grumpy. I invited Daryl over. I thought you two need another chance to meet as last night was kind of rough. How about you come over here and have a seat? What happened to your eye? I fell. What do you mean you fell? Since when does falling cause a black eye? Just, just stop making a big deal, okay? Hey, hey, Mary, you heard the kid. He fell. Just let him be for a minute. 
Okay. If you say you fell, you fell. Okay. How about I'll just give you a minute and you talk to each other. I just want you to know, I don't like you. I don't like people like you. You come in here pretending to be this nice guy, but I know what you really are deep inside. Criminal. You think I don't know what you're doing? I know exactly what you're doing. And don't think for a second that I won't try everything in my power to- You get your ass whooped. Excuse me? You heard me. You get your ass whooped? Is that how you got that black eye? I know what it looks like when someone's gotten their ass whooped. But I've gotten my ass whooped before too. It's nothing to be ashamed of. There's a kid bigger than you? Is there more than one? Ah, it was a black kid, wasn't it? Is that why you called me a criminal? You think we just going around beating up people? Back when I was your age, I was the only black kid in my neighborhood. I used to get picked on, made fun of, get crazy looks from my neighbor just because I was black. For the longest time, I resented white people. I thought they were all the same. I had this underlining hatred for them. And then what happened? I grew up. I realized there were other places outside of my little street corner that I grew up in. I realized that one experience shaped how I viewed an entire race. I realized those kids that picked on me, they were just jerks. They didn't speak for everybody. I say all that to say this. You can't let one experience speak on an entire culture. And all that hatred in your heart, it's only going to consume you. I know you lost your dad. I know what it's like to grow up without a father. I'm not here to replace anybody in your life. I do want to let you know, if you ever need anyone to talk to, I'll be here for you. Daryl was right on the money. His words were so accurate that it brought tears to young Josh's eyes. Josh was creating this narrative that simply wasn't true but it was hard to separate his own individual experience from what is factually accurate. With his father passing away at a young age, Josh was very fortunate to have someone like Daryl come in and be a voice of reason when Josh was at an age that the world did not yet make sense. After crying and laughing their way through, Josh and Daryl ended up building a strong bond together and Josh finally felt understood. All right, man, well, I gotta get to work. I'm glad we had this talk. Tell your mom. I'm running late. I'll talk to her later, all right? Did you guys have a good talk? Yeah, it was a really good talk, actually. I like him. He's different than I imagined. That was a really good guy. Where is he, by the way? Oh, uh, yeah, he said he had something really important to do. Uh, I'm, I'm meeting up with him later. Look, another white boy. This will teach him to walk on my block. You plan on throwing that at somebody? Who the heck are you? Let go of me. Drop the cans. Don't you got something better than do to throw a can at a kid smaller than you? Where's your dad at? I don't have a dad, sir. He left when I was a kid. You gonna call the cops on me? Thinking about it. But I'll do something better for you though. You like basketball? Basketball? Yeah. You like money? <laughs> Hell yeah, I do. How about I play you in a game of basketball? You win, I'll give you $100. What, me versus you? Nah, you're gonna have a teammate. That's your teammate. 
and my soon-to-be stepson, Josh. You want to make this money? Then you two are going to have to play together. As soon as you two learn that we're all on the same team, the further along we'll go. You dunk? <laughs> well, I'm a good, good three-point shot. I hope you guys enjoyed and understood today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always guys, make sure to share this with someone that you love.